New at 10, a local mail carrier giving new meaning to the term handle with care. This afternoon, he rescued a toddler he saw wandering alone in the median of a busy street. Our Stan Bush live on the story in Federal Heights. Stan, that stretch of Zunai gets a lot of traffic. Jim, this is just every parent's nightmare to think that a toddler could get to the middle of this busy street unattended, all by themselves with cars zooming by. That's the scene that the mailman says he saw with no one stopping. He decided he had to act. People drive this road like it's a racetrack and in the middle of speeding traffic this morning, Robert Batley saw a toddler wearing nothing but a diaper and a t-shirt standing in the median alone. It was probably like 15 seconds. It was just, I just put down everything on my mail and just put it in drive and took off straight forward. It was like a scene from a movie. The mail carrier blocked the toddler from traffic with his postal car and went into the street to get her to safety. Cars were going by. And I just thought I'd get over there as quick as I could because she could dart out in the middle of the road. Adams County deputies arrived and scoured the neighborhood, looking for parents, learning the toddler was under the care of her grandfather, who allegedly left her in front of a TV and went to a different room. The bored two-year-old walked right out the front door. She's back with her parents tonight. It's mind-blowing, but I'm just glad she's safe and hopefully back with their mom. When it was time to act, Batley didn't hesitate. And then you're welcome. He just went back to work. This mail route has been his for nearly five years. When you spend your days going up to the same front doors, it's easy to see why this felt like it was happening in his own backyard. We're out here every day and we kind of see what's going on. That grandfather's been charged with misdemeanor child abuse. The names of the involved parties have not been released. Live tonight in Adams County, Stan Bush, CBS 4 News.